Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, yes, sir, Mike, Lieutenant Trakir, at your service. <laughs> and oh, we welcome back... All the and sandwiches. <laughs> and welcome back to All Boy for the fourth time. And, yeah, we're... <laughs> We're infiltrating the pirate base now, and, well, previous bits, uh... <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I got stuck for a bit because I was completely... F I for yeah, completely forgot. Oh, we have a, a companion who can whip stuff up. Uh, yeah, we're past that bit now anyways. Okay. So, yeah, last time as well, uh, we failed to stop Molstrom from getting their hands or claws or whatever on the third relic. And they are definitely planning something with those things. So, yeah, we should probably take those away as soon as we can and hopefully get out of all of, get out of, all of this alive. Oh. Okay, does that do what I think it? Yep, okay. Yep, come on, Otis. Okay. We pull this open, thing again. Open. Yeah, this one is open, but the one t to, well, wherever that place that other door leads it's oh. not so quickly there we go okay ominous lack of it's music gonna be a fight. Um, what is happening? Oh no. I... I think this ship is leaving ground. There's no telling where we're, where we're going to end up. What if they're heading for Valley? We need to find Alphonse, fast. He, he is somewhere in the guts of the ship. Okay. Anything down here? Yep, it's another damn door. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Uh, hello? Yep. Oh, that's no good. Okay. <laughs> now you have to take it off anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, I overlooked the button before. Okay. Oops. I just thought it was something. Hmm? I mean, like, most indie games we've been playing have been smaller than the most triple A games I've seen and played. Yeah. <laughs> Like indie games have a lot less uh, required stuff that they need to put into, and their their teams typically tend to be more focused as well. So they basically don't waste a lot of time on other stuff. You know what if doors? Okay, it's for that door, I'm guessing then. Okay. A bit out of the way for that one. I say this. I don't think it's good to, 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 uh, to be work for people. But I don't think that, that it's also because of you should never have too few or too many. Yeah. Just try to find the right balance. Okay, are you heavy enough? No, you are not. Okay, and immediately they're starting a bombing run. 
Okay, that can't be any good for whoever we're passing over. Good. <laughs> Ends up on the ow right side, I was going to say, but they're not. Oh, hey Tatum, you doing well? Hello, little potato! Welcome! Okay, this is going to be a bit tough. Wait, it is? Mm. I did not know that. So I think this is a Norwegian game? Uh, I'd have to check it up. But, oh, come on, back here. Oh. I realized my mistake again, because we have, well, Spider-Boy. Uh, let's see. Give me a spider bug. Yep. Okay. Uh, Albo is a platform adventure video game created by Norwegian independent developer D Pad Studio. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, then. This makes it the second Norwegian game I know of. The other one is. What's it called again? Dwarfheim? Uh, can't say I know a game by that name. I'm not sure if it's even released yet. Okay, we can just zip past with Twig. Oh, oh we can even knock them out. I talked to the dev back in 2018 when he was showing off the game at the game. Okay, about. Yep, not that way, Twig. Okay, we we actually don't have to give a damn about the bombs as we go, since we're immune and knock them back instead. Okay, I, I really should not forget about Twig from now on, because that is... Well, it, it cost us before, and it's likely to cost again if I forget. Yeah, like, last episode you will get the unnecessary, unnecessary few infuriated just because we forgot about the Twig here. Yeah. I'm just glad I rather just realize it. Wait. Twig? Web? I just re I, I sort of remember he was able to web a few foes. I started wondering, does that matter work here as well? Yeah. And I'm not asked that question. We would still be stuck there, probably. Yep. You just barely dodged that. Uh, hello? Okay, yeah, we have complete immunity. Okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, Master Otis. Are you alright? The heck have you been? Here, let me assist you. Alphonse. Where are we? It seems we have locked ourselves in the ship's ar into the ship's armory. We have uh -oh. enough firepower here to wipe out any remaining settlements with ease. And even without this arsenal, most of them would still be unstoppable using nothing but their relics. The only real chance we have is to acquire those relics and use them against him. And we better move fast. I think this ship is heading towards Valley. The ship is unknown to me, but... I am certain we could use some of this firepower to get out of here. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, now we're dealing with the real high firepower. Just light that up. Okay, sturdy door. Yeah, all of these doors have been pretty sturdy. Only a few have been pre damaged, I believe. There we go. Okay, and that just respawns new ones. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, simple enough. Uh, let go, Otis. There we go. Or can we not get this off from the out? Okay. Yeah, we can't get the... We can't get it off from the inside. So we just do this. And let's see. Can we carry this thing on through? No. Okay, but we have Alphonse again, who has a bit of weight to him. So there. 
Okay, and there. And now we can just teleport to us and get the heck out through the vents. <laughs> okay. Another door. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, this is going to be a bit trickier, but I think we can figure it out already. Just zip out. She down for a second. There. And there. Okay. That's how we do that. Okay, this time I'm not forgetting to wake abilities. Go. Okay. Uh, okay, that's. We've gotten to this part before. On both sides. Just another one. Okay. Okay, now we can move around. Question is, where do we. Actually, we know where we want to go. Because there was one switch that we needed Alphonse for. It was somewhere this way, I believe. But it's, the door is closed now. Hmm. Uh, if, if I had one re reasonable complaint about this game, it's the lack of a map of any sorts. Yeah, you need to use a little memory. But it's not too bad. Yep. Okay, here it is. Okay. Just headbutting through a load of bombs. Okay. There and the what does that do? Okay, that opens that door to the important looking door and it's timed really yep that worked <laughs> Come on, quickly. Just too late. Okay. At least we have a quick way to get back there by pulling this up. But yeah, anyways, how have you been today, Tatum? A bit late on that. It might have been a little never. I do hope uh, they don't have been well today. Actually. Yeah, we're up there! Damn it. Yeah, that would have been a bit too easy if they'd allowed that. Come on! Okay, that was because that one hit I took. Okay. One more time. That should probably do it. Like, I very much doubt that we can go back upwards. We just don't have enough speed for that. Well, can we? It, it, where is this going to put us now? Uh, there we go. It's a speed run tactic. Okay. Well, this totally doesn't look ominous. Um. Oh. 
Hello there. So, you made it all the way up here. Malstrom didn't and even suspect you guys were coming. <laughs> of course I knew better. Please. Please just let us through to Malstrom. There must be a way to stop this path of destruction of the Azlela Zone. I have a little time before the captain figures out you are here. The explosions were a big, pretty big tell. That, that means you will let us go? I'll take that as a no. Hardly. We could solve this so easily if you just let me and my friends pass. Friends? Why would you ever feel the need to speak such you know, fra frailties? Pathetic. Powerless. Only weaklings who can't uh, fend for themselves will seek friendship. Just look at them. We were on our way to become the strongest, yet you abandoned us. Uh, you, let him, you left him behind, jackass. You're going to pay, Alphonse. You're all going to pay. Credit cards? Holy! Yeah, he is aggressive. And we can't web him up, so this is going to be a duel of your mind. Oh, the heck are you? Okay, that's just a plain dash straight for us. Ow. Okay, he did not like that. <laughs> nice shot, Alphonse. But I'm only getting started. No, no, come on. But now he's throwing three at a, at a time. Okay, yeah, he is... <laughs> he is out for the kill. Luckily enough, we do get a refill, as you can hear there. Okay. So here we go again. Miss. Okay, he is real accurate with those blades. There. You just shoot him in the back of the head. Okay. That's going to be our openings. Other than that, we'll have to dodge. Because Twig's attacks. Come on! Twig's attacks don't deal damage. Damn it. Okay, guy was being smart. He threw the last one, or last batch, into the middle of the path. Okay, two hits. Da, Alphonse. Please stop this. If only we could. Shut up. You won't get away with your betrayal. I'll get you for what you've done. I'll get you. It... Music is going quite epic. Oh, damn it. Okay, he's going to leap up every time he runs towards a wall. So it's better to stay low. That's... Go, this again. Okay.
There he goes again. Now, damn it. He keeps hitting me with the seconds. Uh. Okay, third round. Okay. That's just really epic music for this, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> like we're fighting, we're like we're fighting fucking gods. Okay, now he's dashing and throwing. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! Okay, I'm pretty sure he was going to go into his into his ultimate attack there again. That probably would have been the kill after if we dodged that after. Yeah, he he is leading his attacks. See? He's aiming not where we are, but where we're going to be. That, that is good design. Because you need to be... Yeah, you need to mo make your moves unpredictable. Nope. Yeah, that's it. The D-pad studio knows how yeah. to... Animate tricks as well, and how to uh, have some very damn good music. Here we go. Another shotgun to the face. Okay. sure if we can dodge those. We can dodge this. And that's it. It it hurts. It hurts really bad. Alphonse you abandoned us. You abandoned me. <laughs> I guess having a friend wasn't that bad after all. I guess, in a way, he saw Alphonse as a friend, even if he himself wasn't much of a friend to Alphonse. And that stare again. Here's the relics. Now, how do we get those chains off of those? So we have found them at last. The relics. So Dirk did get the third one out of the floating continent. How are we gonna get them out? Let's try to break the relics out of these cages while we can. We can make it out of this ship with just one relic. Okay, let's hurry. 
More pirates could show up any second now. Indeed. We'll need to be quick. Let's crack these cages open, Master Otis. Well, that's not going to do enough. Neither is that. And that's not going to do anything either. Yeah, these are some tough chains. These cages sure don't seem to break easily. Hmm. Fons, do you know anything about these things? How can we break them? This is I feared. The cages are too heavily reinforced. We will need to get the key from its custodian. The only one who would have the key to the relics would be... Captain Molstrom himself. Proud. Oh, I hope one of you is a good pickpocket. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, we can't defeat Molstrom. You guys saw me in Advent. I'm a great fighter, but even I'm not going to get up against Molstrom after that. Take heart, my friends. Yes, this is ill news, but in Advent, Molstrom had a relic. Currently, the relics are all here. Are all here, so he should be considerably weaker compared to when we met him in Advent. The odds are still not in our favor, but if there was ever a time when we could defeat him, it would be now. Otis is interested in that. <laughs> Twig, not so much. All right, I'm in. We've gone up against terrible odds before. In fact, I prefer it this way. An hour from now, I'll be able to tell everyone that Twig, the world's greatest spider, defeated Captain Molstrom, the Scourge of the Skies. I believe Captain Molstrom's cabin lies at the end of this corridor. Whatever happens, this will likely be the last time we fight together. Win or lose, our struggle ends here. You should both prepare yourselves for that. Wait. Are we almost good. done with the game already? No comment. To victory! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Need to refill my glass. <laughs> I'll take that opportunity to fill myself from my, well, not glass, but bottle then. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. I'm not going to be surprised if I'm going to need to call in a BRB in the middle of this game, or in the middle of this stream. Uh, <laughs> from all the freaking water I've had to drink today just to stay hydrated. Uh. And, uh, Welcome back. I heard you drink, then I heard the ship uh, creak. Hello, our lamps. Uh -oh. Uh, pizza delivery? Molstrom? It's, it's really him. Molstrom! What's this? Did the guards let you in? Prepare yourself. We've come to defeat you. You're here to fight me? That's right. <laughs> Very well. Hopefully you can at least entertain me until the relics are finished charging. Then I will... Huh? What was that? Uh, 
Yo, hello. All right. No going back after this. So holy she little fucking snake. <laughs> the relics have been stolen. Get him. Alert the captain. Tell him the Albol has stolen the relics. <laughs> and we have a second title drop and it doesn't actually mean notice. The Albot has stolen the relics. <laughs> what? That little pest double crossed me. Like we're you like you weren't trying. He sent you to distract me. I'm going to destroy all three of you. Oh. Uh <laughs> Hello Getty. Oh, it's Alfonso. No time to chat. Let's get out of here fast. You just chuck that fucker after us? <laughs> Say what you will about this game, but it doesn't sit still with its things, huh? <laughs> what the heck? I'm glad I caught him. It was a long fall. Uh, where are the others? Stay safe, Otis. Don't follow me. Master Otis? Who goes there? Well, at least Molstrom doesn't have the relics anymore. What is with everything floating up now? Otis? Oh no. Otis, you're awake. I'm sorry, Otis. I should never have left you guys alone. As soon as I got back to Valley, I knew I'd made a mistake. The twig guy, he was just being used by the pirates. I knew that, but... I think I wanted someone to blame after Advent. I made my way up to the pirates and went looking for you straight away. Stole a pirate chopper and everything. I'm glad I made it in time. Monstrum seemed furious. But enough about this. Quig, Alphonse, Otis is awake. Get in here. Welcome back, Otis. <laughs> He's just standing on his... Uh, uh, on his stove. You've been asleep for so long now. I want to talk about what to do next, guys. Otis, Alphonse says he saw someone fly off with the relics. Indeed, and that someone went flying up past Mesos. We haven't figured out who took the relics yet, but... But whoever took them must have been behind all of this. Pirates were being fed information about the relics. Someone told them to search in Valley, and in Advent. It would seem that whoever led them to attack these settlements... ...have now finally gotten the relics they wanted. So the pirates were just being used? Serves them right! Indeed, but whoever did this must expect Molstrom to retaliate. They must be planning to use the relics soon. The power of the relics, they might escape even Molstrom's wrath. Is there any way we can get to them before that happens? I don't know. It's impossible to fly past the Mesosphere. We would have to find some way to travel up there. With Advent destroyed, finding a ship won't be easy. Well, let's start looking. There's gotta be some way. There's one more thing, Otis. Don't be too disappointed when we get to Valley. Things have changed a bit. Changed Me and Twig? A bit. Go ahead. Is it 
changed a bit. I, I am getting concerned. Yeah, we're good now. We talked it out while you got, uh, while you were sleeping. How long was he asleep for? Luke's just a big idiot. <laughs> I like this place. It's like our secret hideout. You live here? It's great. When all this is over, we should eat a big dinner here. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me hungry. I wonder what they might be planning to use the relics for. Is it only for power? Or do the relics serve some other purpose? Yeah, this means that Solus is in part responsible for all the the hex going on here. Is that ash? Okay. We can open okay, we can open dips up now. Get a few more coins bit closer to that next upgrade. Hmm. Did we force an abandoned village or something? Yeah, they were short on supplies. But it should have still been enough to last a few weeks. Unless there was a major influx. And they ran out completely. If that happened, then... Either riots or everyone scattered. Did the damn men to go nuts? There's the relic or the statue that held it. Okay, the guards are gone. Where the guard is gone. Okay. Yep. Oh. Okay, you just went indoors. Here. I don't know why I chose to stay in this house. Constant drumming. Can't sleep. Hi, bro. We're playing in the bomb uh, in the bombo house. There's music here all the time. I can't get enough of it. So one who ha one who can't get enough of it, and the other who wants it to freaking end. <laughs> Welcome back, Otis. Are you well? Good. We're in hiding here. Something bad is happening out there. People are being hit by rocks that come loose. It's safer here till it's passed. Yay. Oh. Hello? Hello, Otis. I'm so glad you're back. Kenny regretted leaving you very much. I'm glad you two are friends again. Hmm. Yes, we're hiding in here for the moment. The island seemed to be unstable, which of course means there's nowhere to run. I just hope we have enough food to hold out until it settles down. Okay, so the... The islands, or the sky islands, there's something going on with them. I am concerned. Very concerned. And those are still gone. Uh, oh, hello. Was that there before, this tower? Don't think it was. I think it was, otherwise we would not have been here. Otis, why are you here? You should evacuate. The pirates would strike at any moment. The professor is right. There's, you know, there's even been sightings of land masses rising. Something isn't right with the world. We need some help, professor. We're tracking someone who might hold the key to Saving Valley. Really? Who? I should just no reaction at all to 
someone teleporting in? We don't know. Whoever it was went above the mesosphere before we could catch him. Otis can't fly that high. Well, we could perhaps help you get up there. But I don't see why we should. The last time I helped you out, things didn't go so well. Please. We have to do something. Whoever's up there has all three relics. Three relics? You mean the hex relics? Oh, you know more about this. You've heard of them? Then you know we're not making this up. What are they talking about, Professor? Oh, someone is not in the in on this. Alright, Otis and Getty. Let's do a test. Whoever it was, if he went above the Mesosphere, he must have had somewhere to go. You should be able to track any landmass up there with my machine. If there's nothing to find up there, there's no reason to believe you. Alright, go ahead and check. I'm pretty sure you'll find something. Oh, would you like at that? You're right. Incredible. A structure in Mesos? How can anything even be built so high up? Owls? Alright. I can help you get up there. But it will be a dangerous flight. If you want to go, you should prepare. Make sure you've done everything you need to do. You won't be coming back for a while. Okay. Point of no return. A great structure above the skies. I almost wish I could come with you, Otis. It must be quite a sight. Ready to go, buddy? Uh, yeah, let's. We, we don't have enough coins for the next buccanary uh, upgrades. But, yeah. It's, that's not too important. Alright, I'll meet you outside. It could be up there as well. Somehow. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> um, I'm scared. <clears throat> I'm very scared. Where do we get the feeling that it's going to shoot us out of a giant cannon? Remember to say goodbye to everyone, Otis. This will be dangerous and... You probably won't be back for a while. I suppose I should bid you for well too. You all know that you've been trying your best all this time, Otis. I hope this time it goes well for you. With how things are looking, we might not have all that much time left. Well, In you that have case... the, uh, him. Time to say goodbye. Let's see if there is even different dialogue. And if there isn't, there is one spot more that we can look. Yes, we're hiding in here. Yeah, it seems safe to be indoors until it stops. I don't remember exactly how to use a kitchen. <laughs> I'll have to take some notes as it come back as it comes back to me. Okay, so there is different. <laughs> okay. Just a last snack for the roads. No. Hungry? He'll be hungry. <laughs> yeah. I'm certain someone is still here. They're still not le left this spot in how many days? Otis? You fool. Imbecile. Moron. Leave this place at once. Oh, shut up, you. Uh, that wasn't worth the time. I think I need to learn how to play drums too. Me and Bombo Man would stay up all night and practice. You can practice it with me, bro. Maybe we'll be as cool as Bombo Man one day. Maybe we we'll just stop playing with scissors. I don't know what, kid. 
Okay, it seems that they, some of them have new lines and others don't. I mean, or maybe it's just different lines that you need to interact with the most different. To be, to be yeah, I'm going to guess that he has the same line as well, still. And I'm going to teach a little Pip to play drums with me. We're going to have lots of fun. <laughs> okay. Well then, I told you so. Good luck with that. Don't go until you're ready. So here we are. Remember, you were, remember there will be no going back. Are you sure you're ready for this, Otis? Good. Excuse us. We would all like to come along, Madam Cornell. That's right. Otis' is friends, are you? Wait a second. Aren't you? Not now, Professor. Alphonse is a pirate and I caused some trouble here. But we're here to help now. Yes, yes, no need for that. You're all welcome to come along. We're all here, so let's get going. Yes. Huh? What are we traveling in? Oh, you'll see. Oh. Professor, is everything ready? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> the radar gave us some coordinates to aim for, so we should make it. That's Assuming your invention tower. works, Cornell. That's not the tower. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I should oh, probably no. repeat. <laughs> this will be dangerous. Should we go? Uh, uh, should we go get Asio and the other villagers? Then they can see you off. I don't think so. They might try to stop us. I don't think we want uh, to part on bad terms. All right. In that case, it's time to board. Board? Board what? You mean this tall building here? Yes. Get in. Oh no! We're traveling in this thing? It looks like it can't even move. Quiet, fools. You are about to witness my true genius. <laughs> Years of work will all boil down to this moment. Get in. Better do it last before she changes her mind. <laughs> or uh, starts <laughs> vivisecting someone alive with that look. Quickly now. <laughs> no. It is time. Prepare yourselves. All systems are ready. Detach. Ignition. Lift off. It was I upside knew. down. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. Uh, those two. <laughs> Cut to the inside and they're all just squashed against the ceiling. We didn't make it upside down. Uh, hello. Uh, Madame Cornell might be competent, but not completely sane. Boink. Oh no. Otis, are you alright? Oh man, you have me worried there. Are you okay, man? Can you fly? Huh? Did you break something? Hmm, no, I don't think he has. The air in this place is very thin. Too thin to fly in. Man, we're stuck up here. Not exactly. We should explore this place. Catch your breath, Master Otis. Get it, Twig. Let's scout ahead. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Looks like Alphonse has taken second uh, <laughs> second leadership position. On it. Okay. These aren't exactly owl ruins. Yeah, th this is all intact. Because this is where that stranger is hiding. But how do we get in? Uh... Okay, we just asked nicely. Well, that takes care of that problem. I guess we're actually doing this, huh? It's not like we have a choice. It's either go in or just wait outside and starve. Come on, gang. Let us advance. Hey, buddy. You ready for this? <laughs> hey, I've got your back, man. Who needs flying anyway? Let's go together. Yeah, kind of our biggest... Yeah, our yeah, biggest, biggest asset ha is... Uh, completely unavailable here. So we're quite literally grounded. Wait. Okay. Huh? Nope. Oh. Notice? Getty? What are you guys doing here? Solus? What are you doing here? Are you the one who stole the relics from the pirates? I'm sorry. I I trust you, Otis, but I can't involve anyone else in this. I'm sorry, but, but I don't have time to explain. Please leave. Hey, hey, wait up. We have to catch up to him. Rick just bouncing along. Something broken in the background there. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of the statues is partially broken. Where did Solus get all these candles from? The stuff should look, the most look familiar, and these candles don't look normal. Yeah, it could be some sort of special candles with how thin the air is that they got. Come on. There we go. And now this game has become a standard platformer. A lot of freaking pillars. Oop. Hey, wait up. Solus, we just want to help you. The pirates are coming after you. I know. Now let us help. Let's get rid of the relics and. No. I'm going to use the relics. Huh? I don't have time to explain this to you. Just get out of here. Okay. Sorry, guys. We need to talk to some sense. Ooh. And so we're accidentally interrupting the hill there. Uh, what, Sorry. Uh, uh... Uh, we're a bit too high up, I think. So high up that gravity is losing its touch here. Yeah, and you said this place is losing its, yeah, it's losing its grip. This... Yeah, uh, did you say this place was intact? Yeah, it, well, it looked intact until we got up high enough for this. There we go. Ooh. That's a long jump. Okay, we can just. Yep. Yep. Otis! Get up, buddy. We're not, we're not at the end just yet. 
There you go. Okay, guys, let's keep moving. The Pelophons with that run covering his hat. Okay. Owls of, Owls of old. What is this place? I'm guessing this is... The Owls' base of operation, or was? Also, I, I just like the little bits of physics here and there, like that these things actually move along with us. There's also the torches in the in the jungle Ooh, that we could push around. Not too high. Yep. Too high. <laughs> Why you hurt all this? Okay, it looks like no, this is not the right way. I don't think the other one is right either. There's a bunch of spikes on there, but it's only on one side, so it's a good thing that we don't spin along with this thing. Okay, it's not gotta go too fast. Okay, don't let this be timed. Okay, it's not timed, since I'm not hearing a timer. We can't fly, but we can still uh, glide. Sort of. You can slow fall? Okay, something I just noticed here. Here at the top, this looks like an owl's eye. And since we can see a little bit in the background behind it, that they <laughs> they have owl faces on the doorways. So a lot they have of a lot owl of things here. Yeah, a lot of owl faces in the woodwork. Let's see. Hmm, what is this? This book is ancient, but I can read it. Book of Nocte, Volume One. Yaol Temple. First and greatest of temples. Here the Owls learned how to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the end of the first Aeon, they had mastered water, fire, and wind. Their work here revealed to them the existence of the higher mysteries. It was here that the existence of the loop was hypothesized. Okay. The existential anguish from the discovery of the loop permeated Owl society. Riots began and the Owl Temple was abandoned. Okay. Book of Nocte, Volume 2. The Floating Continents. Greatest of the Owl homes. Machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, Owl technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the height the Owls could reach. They were determined to break the loop, and work tirelessly to advance their technology and knowledge. Finally, the solution was presented. A hex that would upend the laws of the universe. But it was a disaster. The hex failed and the world would never be the same. Okay, this is starting, starting to sound like uh, the end of Evoland 2. Volume 3. Floating Tower. A gigantic research facility in the sky built without the knowledge of the world at large. The last few owls gathered here, far away from the famines and wars elsewhere. The great relics that were used to create the hex were reforged, where the owls were preparing another hex. 
Greater than the last, this new hex would send the world crashing downwards. And? And bring the world under the Alice's control once again. Um, so that's the truth, uh, the truth he wasn't telling us. He's been making the ancient owls out to be heroes and scholars and whatnot. And in reality, he's going to use the relics for power, just like Malstrom. I knew it. We have no choice now. We shall have to stop him ourselves. Yeah, we're the only ones he up here. Let's go. It's no time to waste. Well, it sounds like, uh, yeah, the ancient owls weren't as benevolent as people might have thought they were. <laughs> what is this loop? It's another time loop. I'm going to throw something. Oh, right now, now I see it as well. The there's owls on the door faces as well. That's why they look right. It looks like they're in the ceiling as well. That's because they're retracted. Ah, yeah, I don't see that on the door, but they don't know that they were still there on the ceiling. Okay. Ah, that opens that up. Yeah, the owl chests do vanish into the floor, though. Uh, hello. Bit windy. Very windy. Uh, very, 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 very windy. I don't think Solus plans to take power, but he, I did see him have a bit scary eye. Good. Careful. I think he wants to. My guess is he wants to try to repair the world. Even if it, it uh, has a risk of destroying it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're so high, so high up that we might be getting into the vacuum of space and oxygen is getting drawn out of this place. And we're locked in. It doesn't look like there's any alive oh, owls here. It doesn't look like they'll need alive owls here. Damn it. <laughs> okay, nice prank game. I won't fall for that again. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. There. Oh. Uh, where is this bit going to? Or. Oh, you're we supposed should... to follow that one that flew up? I don't oh, think so. Okay, I hit jump again too soon. There. Okay, they're next. Yep. This place is literally crumbling at every freaking seam. Okay, who put so many damn spikes all over the place? This isn't the Dwarf Fortress <laughs> This isn't the, the, the... This isn't the Dwarf Fortress playthrough. Oh. Hello? 
elevator going up. But man, where are you rising to? I think I can see the top of the tower above us. If we stay on this platform, we could still make it to where Solus is hiding. Okay. Um, what's with the music? Oh. Well. <laughs> well, so much for staying with the platform. Yep. Oh, great. What is this place built out of if these blocks just pop off like that? Oh, so I don't know what's going on. Try to hold on. See you later, Getty. Stay afloat, Otis. We just need to hang on. Oh, right. The tower's up ahead, Otis. Teleport us to you when it's safe. Yeah, they, they can hang out on those little bits whilst we have to do all the work. Oh, something broke. What's happening? Uh... Okay. And now everything is falling upwards. Oh, the fucking mountain broke! <laughs> okay. Well, I've, I've just been floating around here. <laughs> okay, this place is going to need a new landmark. I can't believe it. I believe we are witnessing the end of the world, my friends. We ourselves are floating. Floating continents are rising into space. This is the end. It's happening so suddenly. What has Solus done up here up there? Yeah. Whatever Solus is doing up there, we have to stop him. I see his tower above us. Let's go. Okay, for some reason we can fly here again. I'm guessing because enough oxygen has been pulled up that we can actually move around. Oop. This is totally well, not looking a like little... a dead star. It can also be the low amount of gravity. Yeah. <clears throat> uh... well, he's definitely charging something. This way. Okay. Yeah, this totally feels like we're in a bloody Death Star. Yep. Hello. Yum. Wait, that actually hurts. Okay. That, that Can undid. you heal, but also hurt? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that one was supposed to do a full heal, because I'm pretty sure most people would get hit along the way, so yeah, that was just a reset for the health. Huh? How did you get up here? Never mind that, Solus. Quickly, we have to... No. I've told you already. I'm not interested in what you have to say, but I'm using the relics. That's all. I'm nearly finished here. Please don't get in my way. For this loop and every loop that will come. Repeating. I call upon the power of the hex relics. The heck is he up to? Is he really talking bold us back into one form? What? Let the oceans feel the rain of stone and fire. 
With this loop, okay, now he's now he is looping. You need to hit him? I told you, don't disturb me. I'm at a critical stage in the process. I have to extract the relics' essence. It'll be done soon. You're free to leave, you know. You're just bothering me. I'm still talking to you. Ah. Yep. <laughs> Otis is pissed. What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Says the one who's using the relics for whatever you are doing. You were talking about raiding fire and stone on the world, dumbass. Do you really think you're going to sound sane at that point? Snap out of it, Solus. The relics are too dangerous. Have you forgotten what happened in Advent? No one can use them, ever. We have to destroy them. We have to see sense, Solus. We will help you avoid the pirates' rest retribution, but please stop this. Using the relics for power will only make things worse. That's right. We'll stop you if we have to. I don't have time for this. I've been telling you guys to leave me alone. I gave you lots of chances, and it's clear that you guys don't understand. So I guess I'll just have to make you leave. Now how about telling what the hell you're up to, you idiots? Ugh, you motherfuckers teleporting around. What are you? Uh, oh, hello. No, oh, we're hitting the relics. Good. Oh, damn, damn it. I almost chucked us out into freaking space. This again. Okay, do we need okay, I think we have to use someone else every time. Now three companions, three relics. Just need to hit it enough times in a row. There we go. And one remains... There. Yep. Okay, reset. Now there's one green one, one red one, oh, and one blue one. And we have a red companion, a green companion, and a blue companion. Okay. That's one gone. Just as we get hit as well. Wait, why is Getty's back? Didn't we just knock that up? There we go. Okay, one more go. Oh. Uh, or no. It's a good thing we got that scope, huh? Ah. Uh. Ow. 
Oh, in the name of... Where the heck was the fuck out again? Sola says unlocked RGB modes. What? Yeah, he's gone red, green, and blue. Oh. There. Uh, no. I, I can't move. Now you listen to us. Stop this power crazy stuff. Using the relics is going to get people hurt. No, you're wrong. I'm trying to help. By using the relics? Don't you remember Advent? Those things are weapons. No. 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 That's not what the relics are ma were made for. It's just how Moldstrom used them. Please explain, Solus. I didn't want to tell you this. But I need you to understand. You could have started with this, you dumbass. Could have saved you a whole ass, ass whooping. I'm going to tell you of the great shame of the owls. The hex and the anti-hex. The relics were created long ago, when the owls lived at the planet's surface and the floating islands did not exist. Owl technology was beyond their imagination, and the owls studied the deeper secrets of the universe. The relics were made after the owls made a fateful discovery. A discovery that sent owl society into infighting and chaos. The loop. What is the loop? I am not certain, but the owls were obsessed with it. They worked for centuries in a desperate struggle to find a way to end the loop. Finally they found a solution. A hex that would alter the laws of nature to end the loop forever. The relics were designed to be the fuel for the hex. Centuries after they were made, the owls were finally ready for their hex. So what happens? Did the hex work? It was the biggest disaster in the history of the planet. I don't even know if the Hex broke the loop. That should have been the least of their worries. The Hex backfired, shattering the planet's continents into floating islands in the sky. And the planet was reduced to a giant empty ocean. And that is how the sky islands came to be. And the islands are still rising. We must have seen it outside. The world is ending. Time is running out. In a matter of days, we'll all have risen to cold, unbreathable space. But the anti-hex? You mentioned something about an anti-hex? His library was built to find a way to bring the planet's expansion under control and reverse it. When I found it, I learned that the owls created relics which had been absorbing power for centuries. Now they are ready to be used for the anti-hex, which will bring the islands back down to the ocean. That is what I'm preparing. An anti-hex to save the world. He never meant bad, it's just... He went to it through bad means, through the pirates. Man, you should have told us, Saulus. Why did you try to do all this on your own? I... I didn't. I got the pirates to help me by promising them power. Tricking the pirates led to the destruction of Advent, Solus. I just... I didn't know of anyone who I could trust.
Well, let's hope you finish this anti-hex. Come on, Solus. What do we have to do? And I'm pretty sure he's crying there. All of those deaths weigh heavy on him. Yeah. I... I... You just have to... Oh, no. Is that... It's a very pissed off Molstrom. Oh, boy, you traitor. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, just poop that thing out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, man, oh, man. The captain is here. Look outside. Uh, the rule is... It's all coming apart. You have run off with my relics, all boy. You dare betray me? I have, haven't betrayed you, Malstrom. I'm trying to save you and everyone else. I'm trying to prevent the planet from being destroyed. And backhanded into death. <laughs> no! Otis! Are you alright? So you're saving the world, is that it? Why would I care if the planet is destroyed? Give the relics back to me now. Well, unless you're <laughs> unless you're rust proof, you're not going to go where <laughs> you're not going to be able to go anywhere on an ocean planet. Please, I can't. Er, I'll just take this. What happened? Is Master Otis breathing? Yes. Good. Get him out of here. I'll keep the captain at bay. Hurry, Master Getty. Quick. I can't hold him off for long. Uh, uh. We have to get Otis up. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't long at all. Hurry up and get away, Otis. We'll hold him back. Quick, follow me. Hurry, Otis. Otis! We can't run away. Please. I can't move. We have to complete the anti-hex. Prepare the totem. Hopefully that will be enough. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's pretty stompy for someone with pretty small feet. He's probably putting all he can into uh, everything. Or into every stomp, that is. It, ah. Now for the next. And the next. Okay, so... Okay, for a moment I thought that was... For a moment I thought that it was part of the cinematic effect of it and everything, but no, he just chucks that fucking thing at you and dead. Yeah, I was debating whether that was... all the way or not. Okay, guess we have to be a little bit faster with this. Or most of them is just going to smack us like a freaking fly. Okay. 
Okay, one more. There. Always get out of there. Even Molson's getting pushed back. Otis! Otis! The anti-hex. It's emerging from his body. Is he? Hmm. So this is what your treachery is all about. You think this is enough to stop me? <laughs> I'll trust this little hex of yours. Hey. I think it took offense at that. Otis! Someone help Otis! Oh no... Otis, how has school been lately? I heard Alcio might take you under his wing soon. You're so lucky, Otis. Hi, little Otis. Want to drop by my place sometime with Fabian Bonaki? We play drums until the sun sets. Let's not fall down. Hey there, young'un. Want to join me in the hot spring? No? You're a hard worker, Otis. Just like the other owls. Otis, do so hard to let the end scops for me, from me. I hear you'll be stuttering on the Asio soon. He handpicked you, I heard, and I'm glad he did. I think you two will be a great fit. That turned out to be a giant mistake. No, I understand the e intro where they said the owls worked hard to gain the trust of the people. Some of them might be still remember that past. Solus. Otis, I'm glad you're doing well. You don't recognize me? It's me, Solus. Listen, um... I don't know if you think of me as a friend, but... I always thought of you as... my only friend. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under different circumstances. There's so, so much I want to tell you. Welcome, Otis. I'm very glad to see you again. You're probably wondering where you are. You're not dreaming. You're seeing visions of the past and the future. And from today. You may not remember any of it, but it is real. You grew up with good people, Otis. Full of affection for you and hopes for your future. 
and regret for things said and done. These visions are our gift to you. The truth, the, the, the truth, I think, is often the greatest gift. Especially since people are so prone to forgetting the things they should cherish most. You must have many questions. Come, sit down. Is everyone going to be okay? Diddy, Alphonse, Twig, and all the rest? Yes, Otis. You succeeded out there. The fact that you're here means that the anti-hacks worked. What will happen now? The islands will be sinking. Your generation will know the surface, as we did. Okay, or wait. You're not Asio, actually, are you? Thanks to you, the world will be, will be whole once again. It will be difficult to adjust to life on the surface after all this time. But it will be overcome. I hope you don't blame us for what we've put you through. We tried to change the universe and we paid a price for that. We paid that price too. In order to end the loop, we were willing to do anything. Even risk our future, your present. I'm not sure I understand. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we wanted to discover the nature of the universe, and in doing so, we lost ourselves. Maybe one day, in this life or the next, you will learn about the loop. But there are far more rewarding things to learn about the universe than how it ends. You're probably worried that this is the end for you. Don't worry. In this world we've created, there is always a second chance. Our time is up. And I know I'm not the only one, but... I've always believed in your arts. So either that was Asio and owls can get damned old, or that was the ancient owls speaking through a vision of Asio. Once again, free falling. And that was our boy. I can see why people praise this. This is a damn good game. Yeah. Maybe a. Hmm. Let's see, seven and a half hours? Maybe a bit on the short end, but there are games that are a lot more shorter than this and do things a lot worse. But still, some 80-ish hours of gameplay and, well, just art, music, story of this quality. Yes, for the amount of episodes we did today, they told a very good story for the amount of time. Yeah. And just once again showing that poor communication can kill. And you have the damned orchestra for this. Holy. Okay. I'll definitely be adding the OST from this to uh, my playlist. Now, I don't remember if there is an after credits uh, scene or anything, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Otis isn't going to die from that fall or anything. Oh, voice of Molstrom, Mick Laver. This, yeah, 
Polis is going to survive the fall. There's plenty of space. Oh, in memory of Don Baver, Mal Sieb, Jordan Gear, Stig Vernstrom, uh, and three others. Sorry, Svartstund. I wasn't. Svartstund. Are we going to see Otis land here? Thunk at the end of the rock. Oh no, there he is. Please don't again shock eat him. Spare him, please. Uh. <laughs> Make a wish, Wolf. It's your new day. And yeah, that is that. Like, we don't get an. You could say it's a bit annoying that there is no epilogue of what happens next, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can assume that it goes pretty well. As it is, it is open for sequel, and I hope there will be one. Um, I'm a bit unsure about that since it is. It has been a long time since this game came out, but. Molstrom is gone, just absolutely vaporized by the anti-hex. So, the pirates, or rather, the owl's servant robots, are free to do whatever they wish. Like, I... Like we saw with Alphonse, not all of them are evil. Not all of them are just out for destruction and decay. They can do whatever they wish now. And yeah, that actually oh, yeah. means that I'm... we have two new games that we need to find for our side quests. <laughs> oh, good gosh, Drew. I hope they will make a sequel someday. Someday, for maybe. For no, maybe they already work on it. And, and let me take actually, a look on Steam. Knowing our luck, knowing our luck, I would not be surprised if they announce it the, today, tomorrow, or something like that. Yeah, that, I have had that happen a few times that I'm playing an old game again and just like a week later, hello, sequel. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, remake. Let's see. Oh boy, when did this came out, uh, come out again? Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay, D Pad hello. Games has a new or has, has a new game in the works. Uh, apparently, they've been patching this game until last year. Okay. Uh, let's see, revealing our newest game at Gamescon. Did they say anything else? No, it's just a teaser. Okay. When did this game exactly come out? Uh, 2016. Okay. And what other games do they have under their belt? Let's see, we have Owlboy, Vikings on Trampolines. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so I can't even read what is Savant Ascent Remix. Okay, to be announced. The previous one is coming soon. Uh, let's see. Savant Ascent. Okay, let me just. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so Savant Ascent was their first game, which is just two euros on. Uh, <clears throat> on Steam. They, that released in 2013. Owlboy was their second game, which came out in 2016. And now they have a new game upcoming called Vikings on Trampolines. And just, just, <laughs> just the name of that is just... Okay, this looks to be... Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, this is either competitive or co-op. Can't let me take a further peek at this. Is this supposed to be single player or a story thing? Okay, there is single player. There is shared and split screen PvP and co-op. Okay. Hmm. Actually, let's go back here for a second. And can I actually capture Steam 
as a, a source. So let me just take a quick look. Game capture, all the boy. You didn't want to do that. There. Is that going to work? So I, I want to show the tray. I want to watch the trailer with everyone at least, but it doesn't look like that works. Okay. Uh, hmm. But at least okay. this means that or still working on the games. Yeah. So maybe one day there could be an Owlboy 2. Like with Evil Land 2, it would be nice, but I wouldn't fully expect one. But it is nice to see that they're still busy, that they're still they still exist and well haven't been well just lost to time. Whoops, whoops. Okay, I am going to take this here for a moment and send that to you so you can see this madness as well. Can't really tell if there's supposed to be a story with this or not. But okay, there is an okay there, there is to be an adventure mode, so there is some sort of story that you can play through. I'm I'm going to add this to my wish list at least. Okay. No, back here then. And yeah. Just a great little game, huh? That it was. Yeah. I really but, like that game. Yeah. For now though. Let's change the screen share and go look for someone to raid. So change Windows, Twitch, Live, there we go. Okay, let's see. We have a lot of people online. We have Reef to Leave with Breath of Fire 3. Azra Arcane, who is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Nico Silverado, who is playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. I have to say, I actually never heard about Armored Core before this one started getting announced. Then we have... Wait, wait. Hmm? I played the first and second game. Okay, maybe maybe I've known of it, but just completely forgotten or something. Oh, it's back from PlayStation 1 era. Okay. Uh, let's see. Swole Bay is playing Under Rail again, I think, which is that uh, old school Fallout-like. Black Shadow is playing Hades. Okay. Oh, it seems to be their first time playing it, according to this. Uh, Raimya is playing Fallout 76. Lazarus with Wrestling Clank. Is that old school or new school? This is old school Ooh. Wrestling Clank. Okay. Uh, Big V Streams is playing Saints Row the Thirds. Redacted Cat is still playing Turok, but we rated them earlier, so they're off the list. WB, yeah, PL, and Grim the Wolf, and Intro VT are all playing Baldur's Gate 3. And then we have Smoops Other Nonsense with Guild Wars 2. Oh, it, apparently it's their, <laughs> it's their birthday as well. Okay. Let's see. Can't really tell anything about how, where they're... Okay, they're early in. I guess they made a new character or something. Okay. And then we have Halloween, who is playing Resident Evil 3. That is the new version, okay. Okay, I'm guessing they just started. Yeah, they just started. Have... And then we have Touch Scaly Tail along with Princess Feeny, who are playing Unrailed. Not Underrail, Unrailed. Which is, well, if you follow some YouTubers, you've probably seen this. This is that game where you have to guide a train along and, well, not have it crash and derail. <laughs> oh, okay. Any of these sound interesting to you, or shall I take a pick? I will let you take a pick. I okay, will show I... myself here. Let's see. I think we've rated Scaly Tail somewhat recently as well. Um, it has been a while since we rated Silverado. Okay, we can give them a, a little look. long time. Another look. We can give them a visit. And I have heard well about Armored Core. Like, there is this one YouTuber, uh, Rimmy Down Under, who, was, who makes videos sort of similar to Soviet Womble, this bullshittery shenanigans and such. And he really, really likes this game. So, yeah. Copy the name. And go to our place. And slash raid paste. Okay. 
uh yeah we'll have to see for next week what other games you know what well what two games we'll be doing as our side quest i'm thinking we pick one game to be longer and one for shorter we, we could actually start early on actually we could start with dawn of war on one of them or two of them <clears throat> like uh do dawn of war on the evening slots and then the other game on saturday uh, and maybe sunday early unless we do sunday early or something else hmm we do have other games as well, but I'm not against the Dawn of War on the weekend. We do okay. also have uh, Dust and something, something Love. Uh... Yeah, Noi to Love 2 Devolution. Think we also have one. Life Goes On ready. I just realized, hmm. I tried to snap my fingers and I realized I can't snap my fingers. I never learned to how to do that. You mean like this? Or rather, mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that. Uh, anyone who is anyone who knows anything about the well, a lot of eras <laughs> will recognize that. But yeah, we'll see what we pick up for a sec yeah, for the next times we go. I'm thinking we do uh, War you know, Hammer Dawn of War, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War as one of them. So we don't uh, get too b far behind on our plans, and we'll see what we do besides that. Yeah, since let's be honest, I love David Diver. I love it actually long. It's unexpected it long. Yeah. Now we are getting close towards its ends, I'm guessing, but still could be like four streams or something before we finish it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. For now though, uh yeah. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Tatum, and thank you as always, Drake here. You welcome always, my friend. I thank you all for watching. Now, uh, later, or some <laughs> in the past. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get that raid going. No block. Okay. Anyways, then, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. I was out for zombie seagull and murderous pirate robots. Thank mm -hmm. you.